I wasn't going to say anything. But I can't help it. The last video I did, I use, I use my other phone sometimes. It has a crack in the screen. That's why it, it uh, that's why when you see <clears throat> the video, it looks like it's like a there's like a glare, and that phone was running low on the battery. I wasn't done um, talking, and it cut off on me. It short circuited. I mean, that's why I title it that way. Me, personally, I keep getting confirmation after confirmation after confirmation. It's ridiculous. And when I said, what if I tell you that I am going to flick your switch? And then the phone died. Like, yeah, I know. Uh, you know, the phone died, Robin. So what? The, the battery... You, you knew the phone was dying. Well, when it tells you it has 15%, well, you think you have 15 more percent to go. You don't realize how fast it cuts out. Maybe that meant 15 minutes, uh, uh, because that's how long the video was. But right at the end, you know, it cut off. When I talked about it before with Karen in the kitchen, the light went off. When I talked about how we're going to get everything, how everything's going to be free, how all the doors are going to open up with my wife in the park and those, those geese just came out of nowhere and started chirping really loud. These are all the way, if people, see this is the thing. People can see that themselves and be like, well, whatever. It just, it's just a light that went out. It's just the geese that flew by as soon as you were talking about how we're gonna get everything free. It's just, it's a coincidence how the, the phone just shut off because your battery's dead right as soon as you said you're gonna flick the switch yourself. Um, these are all coincidences. They, they just happen randomly to random people. They, they happen all the time, Rob. Yeah, yeah, they sure do. That's how I listen. That's how I hear God talking. That's how he talks. When people expect to hear him literally with his mouth talking to you, it doesn't work that way. Then I see more and more in the Bible about God not hiding his face anymore. Daniel praying to God throughout the entire chapter of Daniel 9 is talking about God. Asking God to shine his face on the land of the desolate to shine his face the son of God is the light of the world the sun and the sun sons of God the son of God the sun that God created is up there We'll see it. We will all see it. I mean, I I thought I'd run out of things to say to talk about by now, but it just um it just keeps happening. So on a daily basis, it just keeps happening. Oh, so far I haven't heard Trump talk about daily or a sacrifice 
or abomination or desolation. Not yet. Just keep an eye out. You know, keep an ear out. He keeps talking. He loves the number. One, five. He loves that number. Whether it's in the number 15, 150, or 115 miles. You know what I mean? Like 100 and then 15. Like 150. And Trump has no clue. No, nobody has nobody has a clue. They all truly believe no matter what anybody says their plan will just go right through. Alright, so today... Oh, hey. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. There's no more sweethearts left in the world, okay? They're not selling any more sweethearts. So today's Valentine's Day. Tomorrow, midnight, tomorrow or midnight, or or Friday, uh, the government's not going to shut down. It, it will it will not shut down because here's the reason why Trump has to he has to um, look the script is make it seem like horrible things are going to happen even though they are even though the plan is but on TV it isn't it's like it is and is not kind of like how Satan is and was and was not. Because the reality is they are telling you what's going to happen. But Trump is, you know, he he's the greatest deal maker in the world. So the script wouldn't be fulfilled if Trump couldn't get a deal done. He has to be the the man, you know what I mean? Like in charge. And he has to show those Democrats who's the boss. And, you know, because the Democrats, if they, they just if they just sign a bill and agree, they can they can fund the money for the wall because because that's that's the main thing that Trump needs is money. You know what I mean? Like, you know, because all of Congress and all of the elite, they're not all the same. It's not like it's not like the soap operas where uh, as the world turns. It's not like the ones that are playing, acting like they're enemies. It ain't, you know, it's not like they literally sit down together and eat, uh, you know, like lunch and dinner. No, nah, not at all. They're really enemies in real life. So everybody has an act. They're all acting it out. And Trump. In the end, the script will be that Trump gets raptured up out of here. Because I don't, I don't know anybody saying that. I don't know. Maybe there is. Don't know. But I do know that, you know, like the Simpsons shows, that they predict the programming ahead of time. Like he, same as predicting that he would be the president. They predict and they show him in a coffin, but I just don't see him being, I don't see the script being shot like JFK. I see you believing that that might happen if you're a conspiracy theorist and that try to put that, put that in your mind. I just see it more where he's, because he's the person that's acting as he's acting as the Messiah on earth 
a lot of theologians believe that or they're just being or they're just paid to, to say it whatever anybody on TV is just they're just paid to do whatever it is if they're on TV they are paid and um, and they all have scripts to read everybody nobody nobody goes on camera without a script some are just better at reading scripts than others you got to move your eyes a lot I even seen that with um, Global Witness. I stud I looked. I, I seen. I'm like, hmm, that's very good. He's he's pretty clever. Pretty clever. Because when you when you squint your eyes, when you move your head back and forth, up, down, over, around, squint your eyes. Doesn't matter how much you stare into the camera. You're still reading the words around it. So that's the best ending of the script is Trump gets raptured up out of here because he makes America great. It's like, well, you can't blame it on Trump. I mean, he got raptured, but <laughs> blame it on God. So God's going to be blamed for everything. So Trump's going to make the greatest deal in the world. The wall is going to be built in troublous times. You know what I mean? Think about it. Think about the script. The wall is going to be built in troublous times. He's already building much wall right now. He had he built he's building wall right now. So it's definitely gonna be built in troublous times. We're in troublous times right now, even though it's not really troublous times, but it is. It, it's like, it is and it isn't. It is what you see on TV, and if nobody had a TV, there's nothing they could do. If everybody smashed their TV right now and made it public, what could they do? The technology is what Trump loves talking about that that wall and technology and and uh, screen much technology in the wall and and steel barrier yeah uh, that too I mean because I'm separating the fact that it's a screen wall up in the sky is the main screen wall and hey look whoever doesn't believe it okay well hey Believe what you want when you see no more light. It's just, it's just, it, it's become, it's become so simple to understand their script. And then to understand that, well, it just goes back to, uh, it goes back to the beginning there's the land full of darkness and and void without you know uh, there's just nothing nothing to see here and so it's just like when the when the Sun like on December 21st the Sun goes down the next three days into the darkest days of the year and then after three days the Sun when the Sun rises it starts to rise more now I'm sure that's what our original Sun does and that's why they copycat this Sun here <laughs> so you have the three days of darkness then God says let there be light now just keep in mind um, the elite will exchange gifts for three and a half days and then after three and a half days the breath of life will enter the spirit I'm sorry the spirit of life will enter back into people I'm just telling you there's gonna be a three and a half day period and then there's gonna be a three and a half day period because there's gonna be a three and a half day period where the elite truly truly believe that this is it like on May 21st for an example they'll get to May 21st and then they'll be like Yes! 
<laughs> I mean, I knew nothing was gonna happen. Come on. And then you got three and a half days to, uh, you know, to just experience, uh, experience that total victory. Now, I did some numbers crunching yesterday, and tomorrow, tomorrow, from tomorrow to the end of the winter, you know, where you pray that your flight's not in the, in the literal winter, beginning of spring is 33 days. 33 so but come President's Day it's 30 days so I have a feeling Trump will ha make a big time announcement on President's Day something about 30 30 something about the, the damn number 30 I've learned to be a little bit more broad about what you're talking about because when I say 30 days, it will talk about 30 days. Well, that's exactly what he did, but he started talking about not the days, but years. And then, you know, like miles. And so I, so I see where that's going. Because all you gotta do is read the Bible. You see that God talks the same way with numbers. You know, like 304,000 jobs. The number 34 and 43 and three and four. And, um,. So the earth, yeah, the earth, the numbers of the earth, and the time that Christ was born in 7 BC. Who thinks he's born in 7 BC, anybody? Do you think he was born in the year zero? And he was 33 years old when he died in 33 AD? Um, that doesn't make sense either because you can't calculate with the number zero. There is no number zero. There's no year zero. <laughs> and then who thinks that he was born 3 BC? I just go by the false prophet, Harold Camping. Um, the one that has every date nailed down perfectly. What do you see on, they, on those dates? What did you hear? Probably nothing. What happened spiritually? Everything. Everything, and you'll see the ending of it coming up shortly. Just the ending of the whole script, and then we can move on. Get get about going about our lives and our and our our future. So anyway, 33 days, but 30 days from President's Day, and then from the end of winter to the beginning of a. Uh, to the beginning of well May 1st, May 1st. You know, the 7th, 8th, the Beast, the Obama, so Osama Bin Laden ordeal coming up, the 8th year anniversary since I'm sure they'll say that. And then, um, so that's 40 days. So there's 30 days and there's 40 days, which is 70. Trump loves talking about the 30 and the 40 and the 70 and the 10. And um, so on May 1st, it looks like we have 10 more days coming on May 11th. And then from the 11th to the 18th is the show. Yup. That's right, Trump. From May 11th to the 18th is the week. And I'm sure that you'll hear... Uh, let's see, like, there's going to be a countdown. There's going to be a countdown from seven days. Like, it'll probably be the meeting between Trump and Net and Bet. There you go. Hey, the meeting between Trump and Benjamin Netanyahu is seven days away. And they'll count down. He'll go over to Jerusalem, meet up with Netanyahu, and they will, uh, you know, they'll both uh, get raptured up out here at the same time, and we'll hear about it. We might even see it. I mean, you know, 
We might even see them drop dead. And maybe that's the way that they're going to get raptured up. But, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, that might be Steve's role. Steve's role is to... Because Steve already believes... Well, he doesn't believe it. I'm sorry. Steve's... What Steve pushes as his belief is that he is the two witnesses. He is both witnesses in one body. Just him. Okay? Just him. So, and he's supposed to be Christ. So they're going to... So they're, they're going to kill him, is what he said. And, and then you're going to wonder, like, Maybe if nobody knows, they might wonder, like, where's Steve? I mean, where, what's he? Where's he at? And um, so, his dead body. I mean, we look. Think about it. you're the king of media, right? You're gonna you're gonna put yourself in this in the mix, at the very end of the script. We could hear something on the news, you know, like something something that actually gets on the news because he can get on it. Just like how how he had a uh, Richie from Boston get on the news the one day about the guy that ran some lady over but then or the lady ran somebody over but then the guy didn't get run over. He it's like he got ran over, didn't get run over. Anyway, you might hear something like a a bloody murder, just something, you know, at, at out front of 87.3 Heron Road, Michigan, uh, Lintwood, Michigan, or wherever you live. You might hear that, but I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm mainly banking on Trump. Trump getting raptured up out of here. That 70 full years, you think the elite didn't know that they were going to play that out 70 years ago? They do. They did. They had it planned out. They have their date. They know. And they know that everybody that set dates beforehand, either trying to figure it out or being paid to set dates, like a lot of people on YouTube are uh, paid to set dates, date after date after date after date. I just came to the point, once it got to, to here, to February... Uh, well, mainly January. Once I got to January, I just skipped ahead. Just all right, screw all the other stuff in between. Let's just get to the bottom line, the end result, and then, uh, and then let's see. Let's take the pulse and see how people react towards that. Well, nobody's supposed to believe it. You're not supposed to believe it. I don't. I just want to make it clear. All right. I want to make it clear for people. I don't say things to where I'm. If you don't believe me, I'm just I'm pissed off. I'm disappointed. I have more of a feeling of. I don't want you to believe me. I just want you to hear it, and then see it when it happens. See it with your own eyes when it happens. How can you deny it then? When this sun goes down, when they turn off that bulb, and if they fly it in the other direction and it settles down in the east, I mean, what are you going to do? Are you going to be afraid? When you hear that before it happens, are you going to be afraid? Or are you going to think, well, wait a minute, he must have been an agent the whole time. He, How do you know that? But what about when the sun appears, you know, our original sky, and there's no more clouds in the air, and there's no more freaking snow on the ground, and it's not going to be freezing temperature anymore. And our original sun appears. What are you going to think then? Are you going to think I'm, I'm an agent then? Or are you going to think that I'm God? God just speaks. He tells people what he's doing. And you just have to listen. He said, let there be light. When he was looking upon the land of, of it being dark. 
It was without void. It was just, you know, darkness is, uh, well, it sucks. So, uh, let's see here. The wall will be built in the troublous times. Daniel, he understood the books, the years determined by the books. In the first year of the reign of King Darius, SJD, in the third year of the reign of Cyrus, Trump, uh, a few other places, I forgot where they are, but I was just reading it. Like even Isaiah in a third year of the reign of such and such or so somebody or another and um, the verse also talking about God not hiding his face anymore after after it's talking about a certain kind of darkness or or the, the sun it's mentioning with the sun and darkness and rising and, sh and shining the face, which is the sun. The son of God. There's a reason why they, you know, a couple years ago on Fox News, the one guy, um, I forgot what his name, the old, older guy that supposedly was charged with their sexual harassment or whatever it was, and then the Waterworld clown took over. <clears throat> Bill Riley. He always promoted the book, The Killing of the Rising Sun. The Killing of the Rising Sun. In other words, they already killed the rising sun because you can't see it. They covered it up. There's a separation between us, the earth, and the sun, moon, and the stars that they covered up believing that they can cover up God's third eye from seeing us and believing that they can cover up us from seeing the rising sun so they killed it and then talking about with NASA once he's going to bounce the sun back into outer space and shut the fuck up idiots So when you read between the lines of what these people say, and I knew that back then that that's what that meant, killing of Jesus Christ, the rising sun. That's why, in order, why, why okay, why? Why would they do it, Rod? Well, first of all, how? How? Air Force. Um, Air Force technology and stupidity of the people in the world that just can't possibly open up your mind and think, well, hmm. Maybe that is possible. But why would they do it? Well, I just explained a couple of reasons why. Covering God's third eye. Covering us from seeing him. Trying to keep that connection away. Fluoride in our, our pineal gland. Or trying to put it in our tooth, toothpaste. Doesn't even make sense. Uh, and then, God's coming with the clouds. Okay. If that's what you want to call these images that are just planted like flat plants. They look like pancakes. You know what I mean? Some of them are puffy. Others are just weak. Like they, they don't even try. So they have to do that. And then to cover up our sun, our moon, and our star, stars. That's the only way that they can control the sun turn it to darkness make it last for three and a half days possibly another three and a half days could be seven altogether you know come May 4th, 24th give them seven days seven times to let it pass by them seven times until they get cleansed, cleansed on June 1st but they have to take the sun away because the Bible talks about how it's written where the sun will be darkened and the moon will turn to blood and the song that the moon will be the only light that we'll see stand by me so in order to act as God they have to 
get much technology to cover up the skies, turn it to darkness, and um, but they plan they plan on keeping it dark. See, they don't plan on rising the sun back up. At least, not until not until after the roundup. You know what I mean? Not until after the roundup. When they turn their face against the fort the own of their own land, then. Here comes the sun. Da -na -na -na. That's how I see it. But in the meantime, I have to, I have to put a throw a monkey wrench in their in their plans, and and I have to let the elite know. Thus saith the Lord, right? I will short circuit your technology. I will. I'm gonna do it. Do you know how? <laughs> it's quite simple. I'm just gonna speak it into existence. It's gonna happen. And uh, yeah, and that's it. I mean, it's not too complicated. I mean, you know, here's the thing. You know, everything has a, a life expectancy, right? Your gadgets, your light bulbs, your switches, your cords, your just everything. There's one main circuit breaker that you guys think is fine. But when it comes to God and the power of God, well, he interrupts things and there's nothing you can do about it. So when you think that the that everything's good and when you go and change the bulbs and change everything at, at, at certain points and times where you need to do it <clears throat> you think it's good to go and um, it's not so I just have to tell you that your stuff is gonna come down it's gonna short circuit our Sun appears and there's that I mean I can't say it any simpler than that <clears throat> if I come up with any other details of I'll keep talking about it but for now for now my videos are just focused on uh, you know the 11th of May uh, 10 days <clears throat> 10 days start May 11th 10 days lands on May 21st the very eighth year going into perdition Nothing's gonna happen three and a half days later. You guys got seven days to clean your act up and get it prepared For Miami on June 1st starting to 